Okay, welcome to day number two. Today, I've got my, what we call a hockey stick. It's this piece right here, that the cushion mounts to on the very bottom. What it does is this mounts up here to a triangular plate onto here. This mounts through here, which is where I had to cut the curtain bracket off of yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this guy in place. Get it slipped in there. First time anything's been in there in probably 50 years. But anyways, I'm gonna get this lined up, put the pin in there, and then I can get the triangular plate on the top part and start working on that. And then later on, I'll be putting the cushion in place once I work on that. It's a little bit rough. I need to add some, I'm gonna put some vinyl strips on each corner where the ball would hit and kind of build it up a little bit of padding in there. Then I've got a cushion cover to put on there bolt the cushion up, then I get the rods on, and then uh, getting close to wrapping this up. Okay, got the lower bolt in. See that pivots on that arm down here. This tough one's gonna be a triangular plate I'm gonna put it on, which I've got one right here that came out of Twin Lanes in Cleveland. I'm gonna go and put this together. Okay, here's a closer look. I got the lower cushion assembly mount mounted got the rod up here in the front where the curtain bracket used to be got the triangle plate on here and this will actually come up higher like that which has a rod that goes up to the right lift shaft up there and that's what will hold the cushion up whenever the ball needs to go under it but got that in place and luckily I got enough spare hardware that I got from twin lanes to do it and I'm gonna to go to work on the other side, cutting the other bracket off. Got the rod that goes up and where it mounts to the top. That lighting's horrible. Anyways, got the rod on there. Got this side done. Just need to do the other side now. And then mount the cushion. We're getting close. Well, it ran into a small problem with one of the hockey sticks. It's cracked. Let me show you a picture of that real quick. So I'm going to try to attempt to weld it. I'm not a welder, but I have a welder. So I guess having a welder does not make one a welder. But we're going to do a little welding real quick and try to fix it so I can put the hockey stick on and get the cushion mounted. I've got a towel up down here cover my leg up so I get burned. Might go back and do a little bit more, try to clean up some of the gaps in there. Anyways, work continues. Okay, see how the front is here? This is where that one piece is gonna go through here on the front. And then also, it's another pivot that goes here on the very bottom. It's got the other part. And this one's got a little link welded in here that on the other one is bolted on. So other than that, it's the same cam follower, same rake mount, but the other roller is gonna ride this other cam out here that hasn't been used since it was a regular A. But this is where all that linkage stuff goes on that you see on the other unit. All right, quick update here. I got the new rake lift rod on here and the new cam follower. I was gonna wanna use the original one that was on the pin setter, but when I put this piece on this one that was originally on the machine, this piece was not lining up with the cam. So I ended up having to take the whole assembly off, which I've got right there in the lane. That's the original one it has like the Y on the top where the brake attaches, which I wanted to keep on there. This one instead has like a bolt on the top like that, uh, just like a stud. Um, like I said, I wanted to keep it on there, but see if there's a second cam there. This one lines up, the other one it wouldn't line up. Uh, here's the 90 degree over travel thing for the rake. Uh, the cam's coming, I don't have that yet. That should be in the mail tomorrow from Missouri. Uh, but we're almost done ready to run. I've got the linkage for the other rake on the other arm here. I just welded the hockey stick that'll fit down here. The old cushion's laying down there. The other arm is already in place, so the other one mounts here. Hockey stick will come up here and 
have the arm that sticks out to trip the machine right here whenever it uh, whenever you throw the ball ball track is out the new ball track will go in Had to figure that out lift rods are coming out this is where the original one was cut off there used to be a little piece here that the lift rods mounted to and they cut it off here when they did the conversion so i'm gonna have to weld this piece back on hopefully my welding skills will prevail a uh, new set of lift rods these are the a2 lift rods those will be coming off and i got a new set to put on there that are a lift rods but other than that we're wrapping things up here well this is day two of the a2 unconversion um about done got a little dirty today i've uh, got a lot of stuff done uh just about wrapping it up now i've just got to work on the cushion a little bit it's gonna need a little bit of uh, cosmetic work before i put it on I'm going to work on the corners, beef them up a little bit with some leather and uh, recover the cover itself. Uh, I've got the one hockey stick in now. The second one I welded today. Not going to be a prize welder, but hopefully it gets the job done. Because um, I, I was going to use the one hockey stick. Luckily I have a backup one if worse came to worse. But the one that I wanted to use was cracked almost all the way around. So I put my welding skills to the test. Welding. We'll see how that holds up over time. If it breaks got another one if not i'm sure i can come up with one somewhere anyways should be running tomorrow today is tuesday so hopefully wednesday will be running we'll see how it goes see you later guys well we're in the middle of day three now and here's some good assistance when you know good people anthony and jessica up at hamilton bowl in hamilton missouri got me my link that i need for the rake and also the 90 degree over travel link both came in the mail thank you anthony and jessica work continues all right i got the other spring tube here and i noticed though on the end the holes are kind of other than being a little rusty they're kind of walled out they're not very round so i'm gonna find a couple of bushings to put in there i may have to file it open a little bit but i found a bushing that almost goes in on both of them so i'm gonna work on that next all right, I was going to put the spring tube on, but the holes are so worn out, so I had to fabricate a pair of bushings to go inside the holes. So now they fit tight, got brass bushings in there, ready to put the spring tube on. All right, I got this guide roller out of the way. There's another guide roller here that I got out of the way. I've removed the lift rods, the spinning ball eliminator, and everything in the bottom. Pretty much at this point, pinwheel's coming out. All you gotta do is lift it, kinda angle it, cause you got uh, two brackets right here. So you gotta kinda lift, angle it, lift the pinwheel out, and then old Clangy can go in. So I'm gonna go and try to do that now by myself. Hopefully I don't have to get help to do this. I don't know how heavy this is gonna be. Oh. There's part way. The hard part is the lift rods, there's a big shaft, watch yourself here, there's about a six or seven inch shaft sticking forward and it's going to make it hard, I've got to get it forward of that, up over that, this is kind of heavy so I may have to get some help from Aaron or somebody to help me get this thing out of here because it is got some weight to it, I don't know how much weight this is. Yeah, that's heavy. So I'm gonna go and get this thing out of here and get clangy put in. And what do you think of that? Aaron got out of here, helped me. We got out the pinwheel out. What'd you say about it? The surprisingly it was not as heavy as I expected it to be. But we got it out. Now to get clangy fixed up, put it in, continue on. While I'm in here, I pulled the four bolts. There's three here, one over here. That takes this back cover off down by the pinwheel. I've got the original guide rollers in here. I've had one on the shelf since I got the pin. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> That's the little plate that goes on top that if you want to put a piece of wood on there, keeps pins from falling out. But here is the guide roller. Shows you how good the bearings are in there. They are completely dried up. But I'm gonna go ahead and put a new uh, pinwheel guide roller in while I've got everything taken apart. Here's a view of everything. The lift rods are out. There's the shaft that the lift rods sit on. Cushion's still in there. 
But we got the pinwheel out. It was pretty easy to get out. It wasn't as bad as I thought. But we're gonna keep on working. I got the guide roller out. Here's my new guide roller. Got the nice soft um, plastic, vinyl, whatever guides on them. Here's the original one. You know it's original because they're metal. The sides are metal, the bottom is rubber, but the guides themselves are not replaceable and they are metal. Bad to have metal on metal. So they came up with the nylon type, plastic, whatever you want to call it, which is better, but they do wear out. These would never wear out. So I'm going to keep it. Never know when I might need it again. Doubt it, but. All right, we finally got the new pinwheel put in. Got the guide roller set down on it. Don't have the tension too tight or too loose on them. You don't want it pushing up on the other side or rocking around too much. Got the belt back on. I uh, just need to put the rear cover on there and old Clangy has been installed. I want to give a special thank you to Don Batachio up in New York. He was driving by a bowling alley that it, I think it was a 16 laner and they had just taken out eight lanes and he noticed that they had thrown the back half of the pin setters out behind the building in a pile saw old clangy sitting out there so he stopped took a look and contacted me said hey look at this and i immediately thought of my shipper and asked my shipper guy if he was going to be up around clyde new york and he said yes in a few weeks talked to the owner up at the bowling alley who got one of the pinwheels and put it off to the side for me as he was selling the place and kind of hit it behind a bush, sent me pictures of it, where to find it. My shipper showed up, found the pinwheel, brought it down here to me. It was pretty rusty. It had been outside for about two months, so I did a lot of rust treatment on it with some rust dissolver and neutralizer. And then I painted it Otis Green, if you can almost see the green color there. Um, but brought it back to life, put it in. Now we got Clangy installed. Again, thank you, Don Batachio up in New York for noticing it and getting making all this happen so uh work continues hopefully be wrapping it up pretty soon notice got the second spring tube installed and we'll wrap this thing up hopefully and have it running by the weekend welcome to day whatever it is um today's project we're getting close it's still got the old cushion laying in there got most everything done but right here this is where the ball lift rods used to mount little L bracket and back when they converted the pin setters they cut that off because it was in the way no longer needed I got one from Cleveland went up there and found one I've been working on it it's supposed to weld right about right there I got it ground down just about right got a good pretty tight fit all the way around I'm no expert welder but I'm gonna try my best to make this thing get reattached and then I'll be able to put the lift rods in and then the track after that hopefully we can get this thing knocked out today or tomorrow probably gonna be tomorrow at this point this is taking a lot longer than I thought but should have known it would all this old intricate stuff I mean that's like a whole day right here so anyways work continues all right before we get the welder going just gonna show you here it is I got it up in place that's where the lift rods mount onto right here. Along with this shaft down here that they pivot on. I'm gonna go ahead and get the welder going and hopefully get this thing attached right. Okay, uh, the hockey stick was mounted right here. Took that out because we have nowhere to mount a curtain. So this is a curtain bracket manufactured by Rod J, one of our faithful viewers. Has a U-bolt that goes on the top there. This mount welds onto here. And this is what will be holding the curtain in place. Uh, whatever was here before is long gone. This isn't the style that was on the machine, but I think it was, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna weld these on and keep working. All right, we got the, not the prettiest welds, but I got the lift rods back on the bracket for that. Welded on the curtain brackets that were made by Rod J. Got the curtain hanging. I just need to tighten up the hardware on the back and then I'm working on the cushion uh, padding up the corners a little bit because that's always where the most impact is in the corner of the cushions is pretty worn so I've got some leather pieces and stuff I'm kind of beefing it up a little bit and then 
cushion will go on and be ready to run it. Here's all the parts I took off the machine. You got the shotgun there on the top right, the rake lift shaft across the bottom, the linkages for the cushion up to the rake, the brackets that everything mounted to. I've got a spare hockey stick. Uh, those are my lift rods I'm going to be putting in. Here's the cushion. It ain't the prettiest thing, but what I'm doing is kind of gluing some leather and some other pieces on the inside and there's a wrap that came with the cushion I'm going to put back on. But that's what I'm going to do next. I'm just kind of beefing up the cushion a little bit on the corners where they always get hit the most. And I'm going to be ready to put it on and run the machine. Ready to go almost. All right, we're on day, I don't know what it is now, four or five. Uh, today we got the lift rods put in. The cushion's going in right now. Got the curtain up yesterday. Uh, pretty much everything else is done. Be doing a test cycle here shortly. Make a few adjustments and hopefully be ready for Sunday. We'll keep working. All right, we are here for the first cycle. Actually, I've already run it through once. It was so out of whack. I didn't notice and didn't know until Rod J told me that I needed to replace the rods that go from the rake lift shaft down to the rake that they are not interchangeable between the A and the A2. Got everything hooked up, hockey sticks going, everything but the reset button right now is hooked up. But let's turn it on and run it and listen to the music. There you have it. We're done. It is now an A pin setter again. Here we go. This is the newly unconverted A2, now an A.